So the chapters go way faster though. The school teacher, Yokosawa, is murdered in cold blood, and Yagami is torn with grief. Her death is merely collateral damage to Soma of RK. Soma's real prey is Kawana, who narrowly escapes his trap. It seems Kawana had buried his true identity among a host of other secrets. And to unearth them... We think them, Soma did the murder? Yagami crawls deeper down the rabbit Makes hole. Makes sense. We saw footage. What else could be at a murder of opportunity? Phantom of a Jinsho, Chapter 8. Oh yeah, it was kicked yeah. in, looks like. That's fine. I get it. You don't want us touching anything inside the room. Is it okay to wait for you inside then? Some private investigators from Kamurocho. Yagami-san and Kaito-san. Yeah, I asked them to help us out with a case we were on a couple days ago. Kaito, don't touch yes, people that are dead. They're coming. The cops are on their way. All right. She was murdered at the hands of Soma. All right, we're going with Soma, dude. Master. He lied when he said they had no business with her. Why did it have to be her? How did she get pulled into all this? If it's answers you want, you gotta be a detective, talk. We can see the kind of shit that normal people miss. We'll notice what they can't. For now, can you put aside the pain and do the work you need to do? I think he's right. Damn First, let's investigate. narrow our focus. It's not about who or how she was murdered. What's more important here is to figure out the answer to the why. Let's consider her connections. We know one of them was to Kawanda the Handyman. But we should really beat what some answers out of. Is that Soma's gang was after Kawana, and that's why they broke in. In that case, the clues that we're after here are her personal relationships. There's our lead. Something that shows how a teacher could be connected to a guy like Kawana. Yeah. Except Kawana's a fake name, just his alias. His real name was. Kita Kanta. Soma gave us that. That and a body. Got to be as thorough as I can right now. Alright, what we got? Suspicious. She has tears around her eyes. Damn it, she must have been terrified. What the? No obvious wounds on the body. Nowhere she's bleeding from, at least. I'm sure the police perform an autopsy. Just hope I can see the reports for myself <laughs> later. There's one visible wound here. What do you think, Kaito-san? Sure is tiny. Think she was stabbed with some kind of long needle? An ice pick, most likely. Soma was holding one up to her. An ice pick to the nape of the neck would be fatal. Is that how she died? I'd only hope she didn't suffer long. Lose to the truth. Probably nothing in there. Suspicious. So many Kutz's footprints. Probably a few more RK thugs too. Please look into the footprints. I should find other clues. Hmm. Barreling iron. Hmm. Hmm. Uh-huh. Cups. Hey, a laptop's probably a good place to go. Let me in there. Hmm. We're looking at the laptop. Get out of the way, Kaido. I've already seen those footprints. Uh-huh. Hey. 
What are you? What the? There we go. Blood. Not a lot, though. Yeah, looks like it. Trail of blood. Probably hers, but how far does it go? So, Sensei's blood managed to reach this far. Hmm. For a Cow Academy yearbook. Yagami-san, isn't that yearbook from when Sawa Sensei went to Kurokawa Academy? I would think so. Wouldn't there be photos of people like Yui Mamiya and that bully Kawaii in there? Probably. Oh. Yeah, you're probably right. Weird that there's so much blood around it. Maybe she was trying to leave us a clue. What do you want to do? Take a peek inside? Kind of frowned on to mess with a murder scene. Yeah? But merely frowned upon. Look it should be fine. The cops will be here any minute. There's not enough time to check the whole thing. Now think. What do I do with this yearbook? Take the yearbook with you. I'm gonna hang on to it for now. I'll turn it over to the police later. It's now or never. I won't get another chance to come back to this room. You're gonna take it? Really? Is that even legal? Ah, uh, not really. Of not. But fuck legal this time. Those shady Kurokawa Academy graduates might be connected to Mikoshiba's murder. But we're the only ones with that lead right now. The cops could turn this place upside down and still miss that. Hmm, good point. It's better off with us then. Feel like that's what Sawa Sensei wanted. Uh... It's now or never. Sugiyura, we'll deal with the cops. You take the yearbook and get out of here. I have to play the thief? Play? Isn't that exactly what you fucking did back in Kamurocho? Why you gotta bring that up? Fine, <laughs> fine, I'll do it. Hide it under your sweatshirt or something. Not much time until the police arrive. I have to be as thorough as I can. Wait, how were they able to get in? I told her not to open the door until the police came. <laughs> Someone cut the door chain. Looks like they use a bolt cutter. They came ready. They had tools and forced their way in. Didn't even care who saw them. Can't imagine how, saw, how scared Sao Sensei must have been, watching helplessly as they pried her door open. Wonder if we get to talk with the same cops from last time? Yep, there he is. I see. So, Hachat, according to you, the guy no, rather, who killed there Sao he is. was... Kazuki Soma. He's the leader of a bunch of thugs in Kamrajo known as RK. Yeah? Well, great. Gaze closed. Then what's your take on the murder scene, Nabe-san? Tone it down, buddy. Remember who's got the badge here. I have a badge, there are just different types. several different men who have been in Sawa Sensei's room. That includes yours, by the way. We'll be analyzing these footprints first, and we'll check any security footage in the surrounding area. We'll ask around for eyewitnesses <clears throat> and narrow down our suspects. And we'll look into RK2, of course. Appreciate your help with that, Detective Yagami. I just saw the coroner walk in. You saw the body too, right? Yeah, just to get a rough idea. Her body will be taken in for an autopsy. Well, does your rough idea include the cause and time of death? The cause of death? A single stab from behind into the nape of the neck with a weapon similar to an ice pick. As for the time, we're estimating she's been dead for about three hours. Three hours? That means it must have been right after I saw her on my phone. So if RK tried to get rid of me too, these guys won't hesitate to kill someone just to shut them up. But why would they go this far? What do they want with Kawana? Nabe son, <clears throat> the police need to get a warrant for Soma. We're asking HQ about him as we speak. At least a damn mugshot for a warrant. Then isn't it time to hit the street and get in some thug faces? Assume any face you don't recognize is from RK. I get how you feel, man. We'll pull it together. Actually, I'm curious about that Kuwana fella, too. He's lived in Ijincho forever. Why were Kamrocho thugs after him? And now I hear Kuwana isn't even his real name? He and Sawa since they were connected, but how? Those are all the questions I'm, I'm asking. The same answers myself. <sighs> You know jack shit about anything important. But you can go on home. Just make sure we can reach you. 
I feel sure like about this the sense. guy who committed the murder's yeah. name is blank, and they this work for Organization X. It's speech. pretty nice. Foul mouthed as fuck, but not bad, pops. <sighs> what now, Nabe-san? Aren't you gonna ask me about Ahara? You know I went to see him in prison. Oh, that. You saw the video of Ahara killing Mikoshiba, didn't you? I was coming to talk to Sawa-sensei about it. Your point? I think there may have been a link between what happened to Sawa-sensei and Mikoshiba's murder. In which case, wouldn't you want to pump Ahara for information? Why aren't you jumping on that? We got orders from the top that Ahara's off limits. Forever. For forever? They said if we want to try to peg him as Mikoshiba's killer, we'd have to completely flip the guilty verdict on his harassment case. Oh, Not oh exactly no. exactly the kind of shit a beat cop can pull off. Besides, nobody seems to want to investigate the Mikoshiba murder. Not us, not HQ, not even the prosecution. So cops get to just quit working an investigation because they don't feel like it? <laughs> if there was even a hope we could close it, every cop here would be all over it. Everyone knows Ahara stinks to high hell. And they still won't let us touch the goddamn thing. It's above our pay grade. Bury the case so deep it never sees that the means someone out the taps involved. Yeah, feels like Sawa Sensei's case is about to get the same treatment. Hey, I told you to watch it, buddy. I'll Save watch it as I say it. Fuck you. They're the bastards so desperate to sweep this under the rug. Hell do you cool it, Sakurai. He's telling the truth. He's out of order, but he's right. I know this is all very sudden. We don't have many details yet. And as you've heard, the police are working to find answers as we speak. Sawa-sensei... Well... She got mixed up in some sort of... incident. This may attract press to the school, and some of them may even wish to speak to you, but... Wait, wait, say she's dead? Please, do your best to ignore them. Again, we don't have all of the facts, and it's not for all of you to... Well... None of you are under any obligation to speak to them, so please, don't. All that I can ask, for now, spare a prayer for Sawa-sensei, please, if you can. Please. Please. <laughs> okay. We better get everyone back to class. Starting with the third years. Second years and first years can continue to cry until now. Second years, please leave. Excuse me, Yagami-san? If you don't mind, Chairman Okuda said he'd like to speak with you if you would be on campus today. It's about Sawa-sensei. Yeah, I can do that. Will he be in his office? Yes. Thank you for everything, sir. All right, let's head over to chairman's office. Yagami-san. Oh, hey. I still can't believe what happened to Sawa-sensei. Yeah, I know. Do you know anything about it? Oh, I know a lot. I saw the scene of the crime. I was the first one to find her. What? The killer's still on the loose, but I know who it is. Is there any way I can help? Maybe you could share some details about the case. Uh, no. <laughs> not this time. This one's too dangerous. I'm not gonna get you involved. But... Just leave Sawa-sensei's case to me. Don't you have your own cases to solve? Yagami-san... We're talking about a violent okay. murder, and you're a child. Listen, you're a brilliant kid. You can't afford to let this throw you off your game, right? Yes, you're absolutely right. If I let that happen, it'll damage the MRC's credibility. Exactly. So That's here's what, what we should be worried about. about. Let's just carry on like normal. And please spread the word to the rest of the MRC. That'd help me out a bunch. Yes, I can do that. 
Bye. All right. I want to go get involved with the other clubs, but I feel like we can't do any of that kind of stuff until we get that main story thing to get off our screen. Corner office, how fancy. Enter. Thank you for coming. Sure. No problem. Have a seat, if you would. I love your acid wash jeans. In that detective's report, Saba-sensei was... Well, it said you were the one who found her body. That's right. You had been concerned for Saba-sensei's safety before the incident. You're able to see things I can't. You have something of a gift for that, Yagami-san. That's why I'm a detective. I wish I could agree with that. But... I'm overlooking details. I'm letting too much slip away. And quite frankly, there's still a lot that I haven't figured out yet either. Like what? May I have an example? There's this local handyman. Kawana is the name he goes by in the city. Right before it happened, I ran into him in front of Sawa Sensei's apartment. There's no way it was a coincidence. So, you think he could be the culprit? Actually, I don't think so. Not really. That said, Kawana has something to do with all this. Sawa Sensei may have gotten caught up in his mess. In fact, Ooh. Kawana is just an alias he uses, and he's being hunted by these thugs from Kamrocho. Maybe They're he's gang called RK. related to the it's comatose weird, person. They've been looking for this punk named Kawai. And Kawai's connected to it, too. Sawa Sensei went to the same school as him 13 years ago. Wow, these details are flying so far over my head. Your investigation has gone well beyond what I can comprehend, <laughs> and it's left me in the You dust. said three things. I'm lost now. But I just can't do this anymore. Between my own faculty and the press, I'm being bombarded. I'm afraid it's just too much for me to bear. I'm sorry to hear that. But you know what? What's been the hardest part? Is feeling so powerless as all these young people have their lives cut short. Miku Shibukun being discovered dead. Ehara-san committing murder on video. And now poor Sawa Sensei's tragedy too. I can't help but feel in my heart that these incidents are related. I just told you that they were. somewhere below the surface, all these misfortunes are connected to the same root. Yes. I would have to agree. Then I suppose it's only <coughs> a matter of digging down deep enough. Though I couldn't begin to imagine how much soil would have to be turned to uproot it. But one thing, Yakimi-san, if you would, could I ask that you continue to keep digging until you get to the bottom? I'll get the better of you. Sawa Sensei deserves to have her chance at justice. A wonderful teacher like her. Why? She had her whole future to look forward to, the poor woman. And now this happens. It's just not right. As it stands, I still need to collect more evidence. So you know, I can't make any promises just yet. I could hit a dead end. But... No matter what anyone does, no matter who tries to stop me, I'm oh. gonna keep digging. He's just getting uplifting. You're a saint. <laughs> These past few days have felt like a never-ending nightmare. What a breath of fresh air. I appreciate the good news. I don't know if I trust you. I'm glad we could talk, Chairman. And now, Sawa Sensei's old class is going to be my next worry. I'm sure you're well aware that that class has some students with a pension for causing trouble. I fear that with her gone, we may need to prevent a relapse for those bullies you stopped. Are you referring to Kodasan then? Hmm. I understand. While I'm working on campus, I'll keep an eye on them. 
just like kind of recruit him to be your muscle in the school. That's what you do with reform bullets. I should go check out class 2 2 before I leave campus. Damn it, main story. Get out of my face. I want to go up to the fourth floor. Let's go into the photography club room first. Like, there's there's clubs I might be able to join, right? Yeah, yeah. Is this dude looking at the photography club room? You thinking about going in there, bud? Because I'm going in there. Nobody. Bless. Just pictures of, of whales? Neat. Alright, we'll go up to the fourth floor. Just just in case. If I can get into the robotics club, I would like to. I'd like to join the robots club. Esports robots. You could let me join these clubs, right? Ah, uh, no one's in there. It might again just be because I have... I have the main story kind of taking precedence right now. But these are definitely clubs we could join because I could walk into the rooms. Oh yeah. Battle bots, baby, it's gonna happen. But for now. I imagine going down a flight of stairs will help out. Oh. I'm coming, class 2-2! Two -two. I have seen the trailer for this game. BattleBots is in the trailer. We'll be able to do BattleBots. Design and fight robots. Are they bullying in there? They better not be bullying in there. Yagami-san. What do you want? You know, things have been really weird around here ever since you showed up. First, they find Miko Shiba Sensei's body. Now Sawa Sensei winds up getting murdered. You the angel of death or something? Is that it? Jeez. I wouldn't blame you for thinking that. <laughs> Everyone's so damn gloomy. Sucks. Sawa Sensei was popular with all the boys. But her classes were super easy, and honestly pretty boring. You won't catch me moping around crying about it like all these losers. Ha ha! Whoa, kid. <laughs> Hypocrites. You assholes were practically celebrating what happened to Miko Shiba Sensei. Hey, we've heard enough out of you. Yeah? Fuck off, you little twerp! Oh, incoming slap. What do you want, Coda? Oh, I like a slap. Yagami-san, we're fine. There's a lot we don't understand, so we just feel a bit vulnerable right now. But, um, well, if you learn more about Sawa-sensei, could you please keep us in the loop, too? Oh, please, bitch! What's with this goody two-shoes bullshit? Fucking chill, Akane. What's your problem? You tell like it. I said before, I'm a detective, and I'm looking into Hiro Mikoshiba's murder. That's why I was talking to Sawa Sensei. It's highly likely she got wrapped up in that case. So make no mistake, I'm going to find the truth about what happened to them both. <laughs> kind of pointless. The internet's already branded Mikoshiba Sensei as the villain in all this. Everyone says he had it coming since he used to be a bully himself. Yeah, I know. Anyway, if you're interested in hearing my report, just drop me a line. Maybe seeing my work might put things into perspective for you. That's a good game, right? Detective my ass. Just get out of my face! <laughs> oh, she made those people disappear. 
So, about Akane. She was really into Mikoshiba Sensei. They got along great, chatted all the time. Then all of a sudden, he just disappeared. She thought they had a connection, but turns out it was only one way. Now, she's always so pissed off. Keeps driving herself over the edge because she can't even reach the brakes. <laughs> I'm not saying all this because going I expect you to forgive us. The fact that you recognize you did some awful things is a step in the right direction, at least. I've grown as a person, unlike Akane. I'm sorry, Koda. For everything we did to you. Yes, recruit reformed bully. Forgiveness in the front, party in the back. That's what that mullet says. Never forgive you. If anything, expect that she never will. <sighs> I know. That said, good job apologizing. <sighs> Thanks. Come on, recruit bully. Get him on the team. Alright, we're done checking up on class 2 2. Leave school. I wonder when we have the power to join more clubs. We're gonna chase the red dots until we're a little further along. I can't bow. I'm a failure as a weeb. Yeah, practice. Practice your bows. To the first floor! Ugh, oh, I've already drank so much water. No! Oh, in that case, never mind. Making me drink more water, are you? Let's head back to Yokohama 99 so we can hammer out our strategy. Your word hint is... When something is pointless. Meaningless. A little silly. Maybe now. No more red dots. We're gonna shoot our way upstairs and see if maybe... This is a spin-off of the Yakuza franchise. Oh yeah, I see. Second floor. Side mission dance club. Trying the patience of a saint. We're gonna go up to the fourth floor and see if we can't join new clubs. This is a spin-off of the franchise, Yakuza. Now wait. Am I in the right building for going up? Yeah, I am. Come on, let me join these new clubs. Esports? Anyone in there? Uh, there's probably gonna be a mission that pops up that lets us join these clubs, and probably not something we just wander into. But hey, maybe that's the patience of a saint downstairs? No, that's gonna be the teacher who, at one point, was a former pro wrestler. Now, let's do these side quests in the school. Although, I might go pee first. Then we're gonna go pee first. BRB. To the first floor. No, wait, second floor. Oh. I gotta go to the second floor. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Don't take my picture! No photos! Oh, hello there. Could this guy be the dance club advisor? Excuse me. Am I mistaken, or are you... Komikado sensei Huh? Ah, uh, who are you? I'm Yagami, outside counselor for the MRC. I've sort of stepped in to help the dance club, too, recently. Yeah! Ah, the chairman told me about you. It's so great that you're lending them a hand. So, uh, what do you think of their routine? Yep. They're really coming along. 
Pretty much got the whole thing down pat. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You know, I'm the one who choreographed that routine. I've always been rather passionate about dance. Excuse me. Oh, is that so? Listen, I have to tell you. The rabbits seem a little lost without you. Is there any way you could step back in and help them out? <laughs> I'm afraid I'd have to say no. Huh? Why's that? You probably wouldn't understand, but essentially, it's due to complications from a broken heart. Huh. Uh oh. That's why. <sighs> My love was the most incredible dancer. Now that she's out of my life, I simply can't bear to witness the sight of dance. So you see, I have no choice but to retire from the world of dance. I mean, would you want to teach her around who was constantly throwing up? Huh. R right, I suppose not. Welcome back, Iron. Yeah, you can take this. Maybe we'll do you and the rabbit some good. We got the locking! Now we got the popping. A dance manual? <laughs> I certainly have no use for it anymore. Hmm. Great, thanks. Well, that was a real swing and a miss. Now we could add popping. Popping! Alright, this should be former pro wrestler teacher. Excuse me for interrupting your work, Episu Sensei. I mean, sorry, Ara Sensei, right? <coughs> what? Aren't you the advisor of Mystery Research Club? It's Yagami. I'm Yagami, here to give you some extra muscle per Amasawa's request. Uh, muscle? That's rather excessive. Excuse me. I mean, uh, uh, I mean Ara Sensei, she told me you've been getting targeted by some delinquent students. Uh, you could just call me Amasu Sensei, okay? It's a decent name. Anyway, so I was so uh, requesting this, eh? She has been worried about me exploding into an angry rage movie. Oh, excuse me. Bro, well, thank you, Ironclaw. But really, there's no need to worry. I deeply regret my past mistakes, and I turned over a new leaf a long time ago. At this point in my life, my mind is never troubled. It's like a tranquil stream with nary a ripple. Well, it sure looked like he was about to snap the last time I saw um. him. I don't mean to question your resolve, but... I'm the MRC's advisor, so I can't just flat out dismiss Amasawa's request. Oh, once that girl's your mind made up, nobody can swear. Must be a tough way to live. But I understand your situation. <laughs> Something super insignificant? I, I won't send you away. Thanks. <laughs> I'll just stick around and stand guard for you until school's over. About to start class. I am. Would you mind waiting in the hallway while I yep. teach? Sure, I get it. It'd be a bit much to have you stand guard inside the classroom. You'll scare the students. <laughs> I'm teaching class 2-3. They're all good, serious, eager students. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh. I, uh, suppose. Huh? Uh-oh. That's the face of a man who did something. Isn't that the student who hit Ebisu Sensei with the ball earlier? He had the biggest damn smirk. Got a bad feeling about Excuse this. Excuse me. Hold on a second, Ebisu Sensei. Frank on the teachers might be a dumb trap, maybe. Why don't I check to see if there are any traps set up around here? Oh. Oh, I know. I know the classics. Can't fool me. Suspicious. Right there. Wait, that's... Chalkboard Eraser Trap. Classic. Alright, I'll let Ebisu Sensei know. Excuse me. Sensei, I think someone set up a Chalkboard Eraser Trap. Tread carefully. <laughs> How nostalgic. I used to make those too back in the day. Can't let my guard down with these little rascals, can I? <laughs> but that just means you gotta be one step ahead of the pranksters. Oh god. Oh sweet Jesus, no! Oh! What, what the? A banana peel, really? Oh! 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 <laughs> Nailed him! Crap!
crap, that chalkboard eraser thing was a distraction. Sensei, are you all right? Crap. Oh no, is he gonna snap? Sensei, calm down, deep breaths, deep breaths. Oh. It's okay, he only looked like a villain from Tekken for a moment. He's fine now. <laughs> you guys totally got me. That's the oldest trick in the book, you know. What era were you born in? Haha, uh -huh, your reaction's so episode, Sensei. Hey, Sensei, you should be a comedian. What? Don't tell him that. If Emerson Sensei became a comedian, who would teach class? All right, let's settle down. We have a lesson to start. Oh, that was a close call, but it, he turned it around. Man, I really didn't expect there'd be double traps. This class sucks. Look him up there, grinning and laughing like an idiot. Pathetic. Those kids sure aren't taking class seriously. What if I punch them until they take it seriously? Right? If that works. That's probably a good plan. All right. Today's test day. Y'all ready for this? Oh, no! Sorry, if you forgot, you have only yourself to blame. Okay. Time to begin. You have 20 minutes. Hmm? Look, look! Look down before you sit! No! Here we go. Go, go, go! Excuse me. Oh, hold on, Sensei. Don't sit down just yet. Oh, uh, what's the matter? Something's fishy. Let me do a quick recon here. Oh, sure. Go right ahead. Might be more traps. Time for a closer look. These guys set up a trap solely as a distraction. I gotta be careful so I don't manage to make a fool out of me. But more the teacher. Don't want to make a fool out of the teacher. Let's find their trap before that happens. Hey. A cushion, huh? Doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it, but... Chance the trap is so clever I'm not seeing it. Maybe if I look closer. Ah, isn't this... One of those whoopee cushions. Those things make farting sounds when you sit on them. Okay, so they're trying to make them cut a fake fart in front of all the students. Yeah, like the fake floor is pretty obvious. Here, you got me. <clears throat> I'll be taking this. Everything okay, you got me, son? No. I want to look around a little more. Oh, okay, fine with me. What the? What? This piece of carpet. Why is it bulging? Don't tell me there's something underneath it. What? They put a whoopee cushion here? Ah, so if he sits on this chair, the leg will push on the cushion to make the sound. Pretty elaborate. Is everything okay, you got me, son? Well, I discovered two different traps. Surely we're all yep. good now, right? Yeah, we're good for now. All right, well then. Chair falls apart. Yeah, I was expecting thumbtacks. Freaking MRC. Damn it. Thought we totally had them. Let me prank these kids. Looks like everything stayed cool at school. Stay cool. Stay at school. Excuse me. Welcome back, Sensei. Thank you so much for standing guard, you got me, son. Let's head over to the faculty room. You got me, son. Do you think I looked pathetic back there for continuing to smile no matter what the students did no. to me? No, I thought it was admirable. The only thing is, kids that age just like messing with adults, you know? I think it's okay to be tougher on them. I understand. <laughs> That's the music. I understand that notion. You must be a pretty strict teacher, Hans. But these days, I'm reluctant to rule my students by fear. Make them obey by having me throw an angry fit. They're human beings, not animals. So we should, uh... Why should I rely on such primitive notions to educate them? Hmm. I understand how you feel, but... And besides, anger's really a dangerous emotion for me. Even a tiny spark can spread quickly and turn into a hellfire that consumes everything. I've become the demon of hatred from Sekiro, the hardest goddamn fight in the game. I agree. The largest crossovers in the music? Oh, for sure. 
Well, this guy's pissed. He's seriously dangerous. Back when I was a wrestler, I got a lot of praise for playing the villain characters like absolute demons. It was precisely that anger. Maybe it was karma. I caused all my past mistakes. I can't let such a tragedy ever happen again. That's why I made a vow to never let the anger control me the rest of my life. I avoid Shura. That's a respectable goal, but from what I saw today, he really was on the verge of snapping. If he'd had to endure any more, things would have gotten truly bad. Speaking of which... Hello there. Hey, Mighty Un, what's up? Could the kids be planning something else? Hope they don't do anything that makes... That might really unleash that demon. Ugh. Excuse me. Ugh. Something wrong, Sensei? Well, uh, th this is embarrassing, but I've used the restroom a lot lately. Oh no, maybe it's my age. Maybe it's just nerves, but I always have to use the restroom after class. Uh, uh, oh, please excuse me. Wait, hold on a sec. The kids have ever noticed that he always uses the bathroom after class. They might have set up a trap there. Either catch up to Embassy Sensei. I have to stop him before he shits himself! Emerson, no! Emerson, come back! Yeah, I have a lot more lights on front now because I'm working on the green screen lighting. Prager University is a clown college. <laughs> oh, thank goodness! What? How'd he get here before us? Did he leave before us? Yeah, I also thought it was gonna be a chase scene. Excuse me. Hey, Sensei, wait, please. Oh, why? Mm. These delinquents, they might have set more traps. Can I take a look first? What are you talking about, Joe? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's fine, but please hurry! Alright, I'll do a super quick check. Gotta chase the runs, a trail of uh, feces on the floor. Where, where's the bathroom? Oh, oh, come on. There's uh, there's already an eraser trap? Another chalkboard eraser trap, huh? Might end up paying a dark price if this gets him always holding it in. No falling for the same trick twice. And now we go inside. That'll do it. Alright, should I check for more traps? If it looks fine, I should let Sensei know that- No, it's not- It's not fucking fine, you insane? You kidding me? You kidding me. I see anything in there? I open the door? What the? <gasps> what? Why is the edge of this door plate peeling? No, it's really not an academic institution. Wait, this is paper. Something's paste on the door plate. Scenery details are pretty outrageous. In the game? You're talking about me. This is the girls' restroom, not the boys. It's a propaganda mill. It really is. I mean, it's funded by, uh... I forgot. Uh, crazy people, basically. They print out the boys' door plate and paste on top of the girls. That's an elaborate prank. Oh, please. Hurry, you got me, son. Must have done this swap knowing ever since he always uses the restroom of the class. Was in such a hurry, he didn't even notice the rest of them was on the opposite side of the hall. These kids read his mind like a book. Looks like the girl's bathroom door plate is pasted on top of the boys. <coughs> That'll do it. All right, should I check for more traps? If anything looks fine, she'll let the sensei know the coast is clear. It's about to give out, too. All right. Men's room safe? Is it safe here? Listen, he's so desperate to pee, but he can't pay attention. Was it beeping? <laughs> I 
feel like there has to be another prank. It can't be safe yet. Maybe we're good. Yeah, it looks fine. Maybe, maybe it's good. Maybe we let him know. But, can I go into the bathroom is the real question. Alright, if I'm not allowed in, then it's probably okay. Alright, you're good. You're good. You can go pee now. Well, first. You got me, son! Does everything look all right in there? Oh, please! You can pick up the pace in any way. Oh, hello, dare two eggs here. Found two traps. Surely it can't be more, right? Go on in. Yep. You're good to go. Okay, then. Oh, the sweet feeling of relief. That was a close call. Excellent. We managed to get through the crisis without any issue. That damn freaking MRC. We spent all night coming up with this plan. Shit. Fuck. Hey. Here, why don't you go ahead and throw this away? Bastard! <gasps> oh! Crap! It's Devil Fujita! You guys need to come with me to the student guidance room. Ooh, wait, but... No excuses. Damn it! This isn't over, MRC geeks! Sorry to keep you waiting, Sensei. Let's just head back to the faculty room. Yeah, spent all night printing out a sticker. They do need better hobbies, for sure. Sensei, are you done teaching for the day? Oh yes, no club activity. Oh yes, no club activities today. So I'm about to head home. Managed to get through the day. Now I just have to wait for the proof Amasawa said she'd dig up. Hopefully whatever she finds will convince the delinquents Ebisu Sensei shouldn't be messed with. Well then, before I head home, it's time for a little fun. Hmm? Fun? <laughs> Every day before I leave, I water the flowers. I'm so proud of how beautiful they've become. Huh. Yeah, I want to do the combat robots, but we haven't been invited to that club yet. You're in the flowers. They soothe my mind. When I get to look at such pretty flowers, all the stress from the day just disappears. I see. That sounds great, actually. You mind if I join you? <laughs> okay. Let's stop and sniff the roses, shall we? Stop and sniff the roses they did. And it was beautiful. I've been tending these little blooms so carefully ever since I arrived at this school. Yes, we could definitely theme our battle bot after this man. I even gave each one a name. We've got Daro, Anako, Chigura, and Go. Go's a tulip. I named them that because tulips are so common in the Netherlands. Haha, <laughs> fun, isn't it? That's the biggest smile I've seen from Ebisu Sensei today. Maybe he really has overcome his rage issues. Aha! Oh, sorry. Ha ha ha! How do you like your pretty little flowers now? <gasps> they stink so bad! They stink as bad as him! Those voices. Oh no! Is it delinquent students from earlier? What do they want now? I think Iron's still- Iron! Iron, are you here? Got a bad feeling about Excuse this. Excuse me. Would you mind waiting here for a bit, Sensei? Uh, why? Just stay here until I give you the okay. I'm gonna go murder some children. Wait, you got me, son! Wait! Oh, sick! More beating up children! I hope so. What is that? What? They're pissing on the flowers! <laughs> Gotta make sure these are well watered. <laughs> yeah, it'll perk them up. Hey. <laughs> you guys, what the hell do you think you're doing? Yes. Huh? Huh? You little punks. You have an idea how much care Mr. Sensei put in those flowers? Hey, aren't you that MRC advisor? You're annoying as hell, man. Always getting our way. Get some water and rinse those off before Mr. Sensei sees. Uh? You giving me orders? Oh, yes. Come on, throw a fucking punch. I fucking dare you. We're doing a favor. It's good fertilizer. You're telling us to rinse it away? You've screwed up, dude. Why well, you gotta assume the worst about us? Maybe you're the one who needs to be rinsed off. 
Like any pest. Hey. Why you guys enlighten me? Why do you prank Emisu Sensei so much? He's a great teacher who's all smiles. You guys have sort of grudge against him? That smile's what pisses me off. Acting all friendly when he's furious inside. But a phony. He looks down on us, thinking that a smile's all it takes to make us obey him. Yeah. Like we're little kids or some shit. Makes me want to rip his fake smile right off his face. I see. So, basically, you guys want Emma Sensei to just be straight with you. Huh? Same reason a kid bullies a girl he likes. You guys bug him to see how he truly feels. Whatever. You want to see how it feels to get your ass kicked? Awesome. I've been thinking you guys need a good talking to. I'm not as nice as Ebisu Sensei. Ha! Ah, you don't know what you're messing with, Mr. MRC. You're dead! Yes. Oh. Oh, glorious. Hold up. Here, have a fucking seat. Just stand in your goddamn face. Oh, nope, you vanished. Onto the stair, break your spine. Dead child. The school is now a better place. Yo, you, these kids teacher, have beat them up. Sorry, you, these kids teacher, have to beat up these kids to stop their teacher from getting fired for beating up these kids. I, I'm an outside advisor. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> totally within the rules. Shit, who is this guy? Our weapons weren't any use. <sighs> All right, now clean up the flower bed you pissed on. I said now. Makes you think. Ugh. If Emisu Sensei sees this, it might set him off. We have to get it looking nice quickly. Huh? Oh. What's that smell? Why? Why? <laughs> we fertilized before you, Emisu Sensei. <coughs> Maybe by tomorrow it'll be nice and big. <coughs> Guys, shut up! Three high school students are found unconscious in the school Excuse courtyard me. with their dicks out. The school officials have yet to comment. We'll clean it up right away, Emerson Sensei. You guys beat up my precious flowers. Ah, oh, crap. Daro. Ariko! Chigeru! Go! Huh? You bastards! How dare you ruin my flowers, you fucking little brats! Whoa, wait, uh... You've crossed the line! I'll never forgive you for this! I'll smash your little heads together! Sensei, stop, please! Get hold of yourself! I say let him do it. Out of my way! Oh, great. Ugh. Oh, you little shits. What the hell? This is too hardcore. Let's bounce. <coughs> yeah, just let him do it. <coughs> These people earned it. They worked hard for this. We're seriously in trouble now. He's, he's in a complete rage. And man, that strength. If I should hit one of them, it'll be a hospital so it'll be a hospital trip. Yeah, they wanted it. Such a remember. Given our incident on your record, you'll never get hired to teach again. Out of my way, asshole! He's not gonna listen in his current state. <laughs> For the kids, I'm just gonna fucking kick their asses. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Gonna need a little food after that hit. Think fast, Teach! I would love to play this episode just murder the children. He's a big bruiser. Uh oh. I don't want to just murder him with my, my normal flip. I want to break his guard and do one of those specials. Or just throw him away. That also works. <laughs> He'll walk it. He'll be fine. He'll walk it off. Seriously? Oh, he was insanely powerful. I had to get everything I had. D Tim! I had no idea how strong Emerson was! Oh, we messed with his flowers of a dude like that! That was the bathroom guy. Emerson says, are you all right? Oh. <laughs> Gabi-san, what happened to uh... me? You sort of lost yourself in anger, but fortunately I stopped you before you hurt any students. You stopped me. You got me, son. It's a close call if I'm being honest. Yagami-san! So, Yagami-san, sorry for the delay. I finally found proof. What happened here? Yeah? Sorry to say you're a little late. Um... So if that's what happened... Sorry, I did my best, but didn't stop all their pranks. No. It's okay, at least you prevented any violence to all the students. Unless you kick their asses, of course, in which case is perfectly fine. As it turns out, none of this was in vain. Huh? Look. We respect strength. I'm so sorry. You ruined your beautiful flowers. Hey, stand up straight and lift your hands. It's not that important. Your safety's my number one priority. I'm just glad you guys aren't hurt. Really? I'm sorry for scaring you guys. You're much more important to me than a couple of flowers. Abisu Sensei. Looks like he won their hearts over. Thanks to you, I don't have to reveal Ebisu Sensei's secret best. It's great to now hear. Now that you mention it. By the way, yagami son, after all this, what comes to mind when you think of Ebisu the God? A god? That's random. Uh, hmm. It's one of the seven gods of fortune, right? So I guess I think a prosperous god who's always smiling. Yes. Sure. Did you think he was the god of business and fishing? And then after the Middle Ages, people formed an image of him as the god of good fortune. Well. You go further back in time, they believe Emisu was a vicious, fearsome god. Emisu, the ancient deity, was regarded the same as Bishamontan and Fudo Mio under Shinto Buddhism syncretism. Oh. I didn't know that. And at some point, Emisu, the fearsome god, became popular as a smiling god of good fortune. <laughs> Sounds a lot like Emisu Sensei's history, don't you think? Yeah, yeah it does. Well, hopefully he keeps it up and becomes a popular teacher amongst the students. Just like a god. Yes. Yeah, self-defense. I'd be like, nah, the kids had a knife. Has anyone looked at Grounded? Watched someone play it earlier today. It looks real good. Grounded. I'm not sure if I've heard of Grounded. What's Grounded? That was just to you're seriously something else. I didn't know you were so strong. If anyone ever tries to blow a prank at you again, we'll take care of it for you. Pretty sure I saw a brandish a gun, exactly. Whatever it takes. That's not the the game that came out a while back about um Oh yeah yeah. That game's like a year old at this point, isn't it? Like a survival game, except you're, you know, miniature. Alright, brain. We know where we have to go. Means we wanna make sure we take the right staircase. 
Yeah, grounded. Yeah, yeah, it entered early access. That's the one where you could, like, use a slider to make a spider go from looking like a spider to looking like, uh, like a ball. <laughs> Just like a formless blob. It had the arachnophobia slider. Oh! Still in early access? Yeah, yeah, it's Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. The video game. Gonna be a big update in February. Neat. Ah. Oh, Yagami-san, any luck with Komikado sensei Unfortunately, no. He said there's no way he can come back to the dance club. I knew it. Guess we're all on our own, huh? <clears throat> we'll be fine as long as you're with us, Yagami-san. You're so much more dependable than Komikado sensei Okay, team. Right, everybody? Yeah. Yeah, totally. We'd be lost without you, Gummy Son. You're helpful and kind, and you're why we got through prelims. <laughs> we can rely on you for anything. See, everyone basically considers you our advisor already. Huh. Is that so? I'll be sure to do whatever I can to help the rabbits. I'd be dumb if there's no crossplay between two different PC platforms. At that point, you're just being a dick if you don't implement it. Well, I mean, you're a dick if you prevent the implementation of it. <laughs> I mean, friggin' zombie game has, has crossplay. Oh, right, right. You assume there's no crossplay. Really, Deep Rocker Galactic doesn't have crossplay. Interesting that um, Left 4 Dead 4 has it and Deep Rock doesn't. Although it's usually a publisher thing. Like, publishers are in charge of whether or not that kind of stuff goes through. And you know, publishers can be jerks. You can probably play with Xbox players, but not Steam players. That's dumb. Woo! Hi, Yagami son, thanks for stopping by. Are you gonna help us practice today? Yeah, it's practice. You can play Back for Blood on Game Pass with Steam owners? I believe so. My understanding is, um. Audrey, Quark, Patrick, and someone else are playing, and I think some of them are using the Game Pass version. At least I'm pretty sure. Got a song in mind? Yes. Ahead, Must add popping to my locking. All right, we'll keep freestyle B. Let's examine some some popping here. Oh, so wavy. Yeah, yeah, like it was a mixture of Steam and uh, not Steam users. Okay, all right. Ooh, okay, this one's looking pretty good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's probably the one for me. Although... I think it might be D. Might go A, B, D. Yeah, we're going with that go one. Ahead and pick a costume. Got a song Obviously, we're staying with that fucking costume. B, B, B. Okay, let's go. Strange game. What are you talking about? Don't every game don't doesn't every game have a dance sequence you play sometimes? 
I should really take an allergy pill. Easy's too easy. I feel like medium and hard is where we gotta, we gotta stick around. And one, and two. Yeah. A lot of what I was watching when I was watching other people play, I was like... Like, I like Left 4 Dead's simplicity. Like, it's purity. Okay, team. They didn't use the song before? I've been doing, like, the different difficulties of the same song. Yagami-san! <gasps> the finals of the Jinsho Citywide Dance Regionals! Yeah. Yep, we really made it. Sayaka. Basically, you have to do uh, two or three difficulty variations on the one song, and then you do the regional or semi-final or whatever. That's my understanding. And then we unlock another song. Have you seen it yet? The Norizuki video? Yeah. Going to regionals. Oh, yeah, that was really something. Mm -hmm. What's this about? Last night, someone uploaded a video of the Misaki High Dance Club's latest routine. Yeah, like, I saw a bunch of the systems that they were going with, and a lot of it strikes me as, like, come help us, uh, bug test what will eventually be real money transaction systems. <laughs> and yeah, it definitely seems a little grindy as well. Like, I don't want... I don't like live surface stuff. I just don't. I don't want to play a game that's like, okay, but now play it 600 more times so you get experience to unlock another cosmetic or something. I liked Left 4 Dead because it's just, okay, I like this level and I want to play with my friends. Done. Choose a character, have a good time. <clears throat> I don't want to grind, I don't want to have to do a bunch of nonsense. Ah, yeah, allergy pill has to happen. Yeah, very, very grindy. I don't care for grind. I just want... I just want to play a game. That's all I ever want. You never complete all the campaign levels in Left 4 Dead 2? Like, there's so many that you don't need to. You can have a good time with the game without ever actually finishing the levels. <coughs> I certainly have, but... <coughs> That's just me. Like, you want me to have fun? Make some good levels. Put some interesting set pieces in those levels. And then add achievements that are, like, interesting or complicated. Like, doing the gnome mission in Left 4 Dead 2 is a great, great time. Love doing that achievement. It's weird, it's difficult, it requires teamwork. Love doing the gnome. Why would you want to have fun, you sicko? Appar apparently all these these big big companies are right. We we're, we're all dumb for wanting to have fun with our games. We're supposed to want to monetize them. Or NFTs and all this garbage. Or making them live services. How many views? Basically overnight. Whoops, I don't want to turn auto on. Sounds like one idol who's got a, a loyal fan base. Mm. But it's not just the idol thing. I've seen the video and the routine. It's phenomenal. It's like I was spellbound. Their form, their typing, everything was perfect. Music was actually unique. Even the solos were top-notch. <sighs> Forget it now. It's all right, Joe. You can make my joke. Just know that I have the non-fungible token. 
So, like, that's my ownership? That's my joke. But, like, you can make it too. As long as everyone's aware, I have the, the token for it. It's mine. Yeah, like, Vermintide 2 has progression. But not live service progression. <laughs> I'm okay if, like, playing the game slowly rewards me. I don't want it to be, like, a thing I have to do, I guess. But even a game like uh, Vermintide 2, eventually, I, I kind of just... I have my fun and I move on. Define live service. Live service generally refers to a game where... Like, uh... Season 2 of Fortnite's happening. These are the things you're gonna have to do. <clears throat> it's a game that wants you to play it forever. And never stop. Never stop playing it. Ah. We're in trouble, aren't we? Guys. Come on, what's with the faces? Did you forget the rabbit's motto? Ah. Oh, right. Multiply. Oh, wait. Dance like nobody's watching. Yeah. I get that Norizuki's dance scene makes you nervous. But if you just go up there and enjoy yourselves like you're going, like you're doing practice, you're gonna knock him dead. Got it? <clears throat> yeah. Yagami-san. We'd appreciate if you were there to support us. Will you let me know when we're ready to go? <clears throat> yeah, like, that's nice. Like, an event's over, you get the stuff. Like, infinite gameplay is different from a live service. Live service is usually there's seasons, there's, like, time-sensitive events. There's things that try to, like, prey upon that lizard part of your brain to make you log in and play. Like, any any online card game is a live service. And I recognize that my addiction to those card games is I like the card game format a lot, and then you add live service to that, and I get, like, oh, the new, new expansion happened. I gotta get in there. I gotta open my booster packs. But there's also an event going on where I have to, like, play so many matches on rank to unlock stuff like that's that's live service it's the skitter box you know it's trying to get in there and make you play the game more Ugh. allergies have been killing me and i think it's because i've been doing so many like rearrangings and movings in this room to get get these lights set up and everything i've been kicking up dust 